Welcome back to Building Character, where we figure out how to play as your favorite fictional characters in Dungeons & Dragons. Join the Patreon to vote for Frieza or Trunks from Dragon Ball Z, and like and subscribe for better students next time you play. Maybe. Today we're building Shoto Aizawa, also known as Eraserhead from My Hero Academia. Have you ever had a DM who seemed like they were designing monsters specifically to beat your character's abilities and make you have a miserable time? This is the revenge. Anytime your DM wants to cast a spell, you just get to say, No thanks, I choose life. How about no? No. No. Hi, I'm Eraserhead's cousin, Eraser Ned. I'm here to talk to you about today's sponsor, Surfshark VPN. There are hackers, identity thieves, and even internet service providers trying to steal your data. Don't let them have it. Use Surfshark VPN to encrypt your data and bamboozle all the would-be villains who could use your information for nefarious purposes. Surfshark VPN works on all of your devices and an unlimited amount of devices. I'm talking about gaming consoles, cell phones, tablets. If the internet runs on it, Surfshark runs on it. You can also use Surfshark VPN to check out content that's region locked in other countries. So if you want to watch something that's on Netflix in Canada and you're in the United States, guess what? You can do that with Surfshark VPN. You can get Surfshark VPN by clicking the link in the description. You also get 83% off and three months free when you use offer code 2LOCK. Whoever that is, I'm Eraser Jed. Or Ned, was it Ned? Wait. I'm Eraser Ned. Let's start off with our goals for this build. First, we need to shut down powers. No magic allowed against you. Next, we'll get some tape to wrap things up quickly by quickly wrapping things up. Finally, we need some speed. If you're gonna be keeping your little baby safe, you need to be able to keep up with all of them, and one of them has super speed. For stats, we'll be using the standard point array from the player's handbook. Roll for stats if you want, just watch those multi-classing minimums. Intelligence will be number one. You understand your quirk, your enemy's quirk, and your student's quirks, and that guy at the ice cream shop's quirk. It's making ice cream. Dexterity next, you're an excellent martial artist in addition to being a first-rate teacher. Wisdom after that, when your eyes aren't redder than the devil's butt cheeks, you're pretty observant. Follow that up with constitution. You can't make a teacher with less than plus one here. It's impossible to handle students without a serious amount of grit. Strength is a bit low. You're more speedy than smashy and will dump charisma. You might be one of the greatest heroes in existence, but no one really knows who you are. That's actually kind of a plus for you though. Aizawa is a human, but he's a quirky human. So we'll use custom lineage to grab the mage slayer feet right away. This lets you attack creatures with your reaction when they cast a spell within five feet of you. Every time you attack a creature concentrating on a spell, they have disadvantage on the save and you have advantage on saving throws on spells cast by creatures within five feet of you. If anyone thinks they're going to beat you because they have a powerful quirk they are big wrong bump your intelligence with your two free points take perception for your skill of choice and build your own background for arcana and investigation skills call it the edgy teacher background we're actually kicking things off as a monk letting us grab two skills from the monk list like athletics and acrobatics for a little physicality before we go all in on the quirk training you get martial arts letting you make unarmed attacks that deal 1d4 plus your dexterity modifier and damage and you can make an unarmed attack as a bonus action after you make one with your action getting a little speedy combo going at level one you also get unarmored defense making your ac 10 plus your dexterity and wisdom modifier when you're not wearing armor helping you stay safe in your toilet paper turtleneck we're gonna jump over to wizard right away. We could have started at wizard, but that would give you a worse hit die and you don't get any benefits from starting off as a wizard instead of multi-classing in later. For your cantrips, light lets you see in the dark with your dumb bloodshot eyes. Blade Ward gives you resistance to bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing damage as an action for preemptive blocking. And Mage Hand lets you lift objects that weigh 10 pounds or less with a floating spectral hand, but I'd say you could make it your scarf tape stuff. You're very dexterous with it. For your first level spells, Mage Armor makes your AC 13 plus your dexterity modifier when you're not wearing armor for a little upgrade from the unarmored defense shield lets you add five to your ac as a reaction helping you shut down quirks that aren't directly spells snare lets you set up an invisible rope trap on a five foot square creatures of small or larger who step on it get hoisted into the air if they fail a dexterity saving throw and they're knocked prone and restrained until they can pass a dexterity save with disadvantage or someone makes an arcana check against your spell dc to bust them out most criminals are pretty dumb they could be there for a while long strider adds 10 feet to a creature's movement speed for an hour jump triples their jump distance 
for a minute and expeditious retreat lets them dash as a bonus action for up to 10 minutes depending on their concentration all of these help you get your mobility going if you just need to keep up with a whole room full of enemies wizards get arcane recovery too helping you recover your spell slots on short rests a number of slots equal to half your wizard level just give yourself some time to put a few eye drops in second level wizards can choose an academia and abjuration wizards are really good at protecting their friends thanks to arcane ward when you cast an abjuration spell at first level or higher you can create a shield that absorbs damage equal to double your wizard level plus your intelligence modifier so you can make a shield when you shield to shield you while you shield for this level spell protection from evil and good gives a creature protection from aberrations celestials elementals fiends fey and undead all the weird stuff will have disadvantage on attack rolls against your student and they can't charm possess or frighten them Lasts for up to 10 minutes depending on your concentration feather fall prevents up to five falling creatures from taking falling damage so deku goron zora kokiri and gerudo will all be safe with a little tape ripcord third level wizards can learn second level spells hold first and force of wisdom saving throw on a creature feeling that they're paralyzed for up to a minute depending on your concentration as you make a little bad guy cocoon earthbind shuts down a flying quirk forcing a strength saving throw on a creature and setting their flying speed to zero if they fail for up to a minute depending on your concentration flying quirks are so annoying let's just keep everyone on the ground okay fourth level wizards can get an ability score improvement round up your intelligence and wisdom modifier since odd numbers are bad numbers and the only kind of bad you are is badass for this level spell enhance ability gives a creature advantage on ability checks of a certain type for an hour depending on your concentration if you choose strength their carrying capacity is doubled if you choose dexterity they don't take falling damage from heights of 20 feet or less and if you choose constitution they also get 2d6 temporary hp i'd say give yourself dexterity to jump around extra cool like but you could also give it to your students you're very good at giving out encouragement because you don't do it that often so it means a lot if you want to just be harder to hit blur gives creatures disadvantage on their attack rolls to hit you for up to a minute depending on your concentration just keep your eyes open and they won't be able to hit you how hard can that be try not to blink for the rest of the video fifth level wizards can learn third level spells also known as the aizawa spells counter spell shuts down spells of third level or lower automatically as a reaction and higher level spells with an intelligence check of 10 plus the spells level dispel magic is like counter spell except it's an action and can remove multiple spell effects from a creature at once these both get supercharged later on as an abjuration wizard but for now you can shut down a ninth level spell by rolling a 15 or higher that's pretty awesome even if it's not super easy sixth level abjuration wizards become better chaperones thanks to projected ward this lets you use your reaction to send your ward to protect another creature within 30 feet of you shutting down the enemy quirk before it kills one of your students that would be a ton of paperwork it's not like you care but oh my god you totally do you love those kiddos so much protect them like a grumpy dad you are for this level spell haste lets you handle a whole crowd of enemies at once with doubled movement speed plus two to your ac advantage on dexterity saving throws and an extra action to dash disengage hide use an object or make an extra attack after a minute of being a total badass you're gonna need to take a round off of actions and reactions it can be hard being as cool as you are intellect fortress gives a creature resistance to psychic damage and advantage on intelligence wisdom and charisma saving throws against spells for up to an hour making you always ready for any tricky mental quirks seventh level wizards can learn fourth level spells and tape is hard to get i'm gonna be honest but if ard's black tentacles is pretty cool and kind of does it pretty well it fills a 20 foot square of ground with tentacles that forces dexterity saving throws on creatures inside dealing 3d6 bludgeoning damage to those that fail and restraining them every round after that they have to make a strength or dexterity saving throw to try and break out otherwise they stay wrapped up and take the damage again it lasts for a minute depending on your concentration just reflavor the tentacles to be taped we'll also dip back to the first level spells for magic missile which lets you shoot three darts that deal 1d4 plus one force damage each and automatically hit why take this spell well since taking damage forces a concentration save you can give creatures disadvantage on thanks to mage slayer this can automatically give you a chance to break up three quirks Eight level wizards get another ability score improvement cap off that intelligence modifier for maximum shutdowns with counter spell and dispel magic for this level spell fear forces a wisdom saving throw on creatures in a 60 foot cone failing that they're frightened of you and have to use their turn to dash away even though you're kind of an unknown you can be very scary when you want to be tasha's mind whip forces an intelligence saving throw on a creature dealing 3d6 psychic damage to those that fail and they have to choose between moving making an action or making a bonus action for yet another way to shut someone out of the fight ninth level wizards can learn fifth level spells steal when strike is the ultimate anime attack letting you make a melee spell attack against up to five creatures within 30 feet of you dealing 6d 10 force damage to all those that fail with an average of 30 damage per hit that's a dc 15 concentration save they'll have to make with disadvantage possibly higher if you roll well on the damage not to mention how heckin cool it is to dash through a whole crowd of enemies in six seconds hold monster is like hold person without the humanoid restriction so you can wrap up whatever the heck nomu is that's not uh, humanoid anymore 10th level abjuration wizards get improved abjuration 
Divination, letting you add your proficiency bonus to your counter spell and dispel magic checks for a plus nine bonus to those checks at this point and plus 11 by the end of the build. That means if you roll a 10 or higher, ninth level spells go bye bye now and eight or higher when we're done with this build that's a whole lot of nope for this level spell skill empowerment gives a creature expertise in a skill they were already proficient with letting them double their proficiency bonus with the checks for an hour you could use this on yourself to look cool or give it to one of your students that's the real goal isn't it to make the kids better telekinesis lets you lift objects weighing a thousand pounds or less with your brain or in your case some ribbony things you can move them 30 feet on your turn and if that object is a living thing or being held by a living thing they can make an athletics check against your intelligence check to not get wrapped up but you're gonna succeed your intelligence check is capped off so you can also use this to restrain people and stop them from hurting your little babies 11th level wizards get six level spells contingency lets you cast a spell of fifth level or lower that takes an action and targets you it then activates immediately sometime in the next 10 days when something happens that you determine like haste when you roll initiative to essentially just store a spell slot for tomorrow it's like preparing a lesson plan very important for teachers i'm gonna be honest we're hitting a point where we don't need two spells every level you want more spells pick them up at home give aizawa a grenade a taser or a disintegration ray that's cool i don't care 12 level wizards get another ability score improvement let's get to work on that dexterity you're probably still gonna get hit a lot well maybe not with a shield and an arcane ward but just to be safe let's get the ac up 13 level wizards can learn seventh level spells power word pain shuts down all sorts of quirks on creatures with 100 hp or less it lowers their speed to 10 feet they have disadvantage on all attack rolls skill checks and saving throws except constitution and have to make a constitution saving throw every time they want to cast a spell otherwise it doesn't happen they also make a constitution saving throw at the end of their turns to end the effect but your modifier is capped off so that's going to be kind of hard for them 14th level abjuration wizards get spell resistance giving you advantage on saving throws against spells and resistance to damage from spells these of course are the spells that actually get through and not the ones that you're shutting down automatically with counter spell speaking of shutting spells down 15th level wizards can learn eighth level spells like anti-magic field creating a 10 foot radius around you that shuts down all spells automatically automatically it also shuts down magical items it also means that you can't use magic but that's fine this is magical scorched earth it's the wizarding dual equivalent of unplugging the gamecube when you're losing it lasts for an hour depending on your concentration so use it if you really want to make your dm mad 16th level wizards get another ability score improvement so we can keep getting our dexterity modifier higher if you do end up using the anti-magic field that one level of monk is all you have to fight the bad guys with still if they're a pure spellcaster that's one more thing than they'll have 17th level wizards get ninth level spells foresight gives you advantage on all attack rolls ability checks and saving throws you can't be surprised and enemies have disadvantage on all their attack rolls against you it's the ultimate badass ability and mixing it in with your incredible defensive abilities makes you a tank with less than 100 hp i think that's kind of funny 18th level wizards get spell mastery letting you pick one first and second level spell to cast at will shield will help you automatically shut down spells and activate your arcane ward automatically reducing 41 damage at this point for you or a student pick hold person for your second level spell so you can always wrap the baddies up that's fun our capstone is the 19th level of wizard for one last ability score improvement cap off your dexterity modifier for a base 17 ac that you can turn into 23 at will with a shield reaction it's really good but we can talk about that more in a second now that we've hit level 20 let's figure out how viable this build is first you're really hard to kill with big ac and an automatic way to refresh a pool of 43 damage reduction foresight and resistance to damage from every spell you can also shut down spells to protect your friends turning enemy casters into useless squishy helpless children and not cool children like your children finally in addition to locking your enemies abilities down you can physically lock them down as well thanks to hold person telekinesis evard's black tentacles and hold monster so everyone has to sit still when you say so for weaknesses despite how good you are at shutting damage down you still have barely over 100 hp if you're lucky so something like power word kill could make you power word dead you also don't deal all that much damage by yourself you might set your teammates up for big combos but you could lose out on a back and forth scrap finally too many of your spells are concentration and you can only have one up at a time but that's not really a problem your most important job is shutting down everyone else's powers and you can do that without concentration shut down the enemy lock down the enemy and keep your kids safe just watch out for people with skills beyond their quirks otherwise it could be you getting your head erased thanks for watching if you like the video subscribe for more we make two videos every week join the patreon to vote for trunks or frieza from dragon ball z and sub to tulak and mango for more tulak fun